Hello everyone, I hope you uh, enjoy my tutorial for today. I am gonna be using NYX's new eyeshadow palette called Avant Pop. And if you wanna see how I got this look, please keep on watching. Thank you again. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm gonna be doing um, a nice eyeshadow look for you with lots of color. And I wanted to show you some of the eyeshadows and other makeup products I got this week. Um, so today I'm going to be working on this new makeup palette by NYX. It's called Avant Pop. And look at all these pretty colors, really vibrant and um, very beautiful. So we're going to work off this uh, eyeshadow palette today. Also, I got a couple Milani lipsticks this week. This is um, number 75, Matte Lux, And this is number 45. It's called Catwalk Pink. And they are really pretty. They look like those. Look how pretty that is. Really nice. Okay, and then um, I also went ahead and got this new uh, mascara. You guys know how much I love Lancome's uh, mascara. But this one is by uh, Flower, the Drew Barrymore makeup line. So I'm going to try this mascara today and let you guys know how that is. And last week, I also, um, my last two tutorials, I went ahead and used this one by NYX also, Sex Bomb, my red and black smoky tutorial last week. And then before that, I went ahead and got this CoverGirl Roses uh, True Naked um, palette. So this was really nice also. So two weeks ago, I did a tutorial on this. Go ahead and check that out on my channel. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I went ahead and, and did all my foundation and contouring and my eyebrows and my um, eyeshadow base. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this makeup tutorial and I hope you guys like it. Okay, and just so you guys know, these are really, cause they had a tester at um, Ulta um, that was already opened and I went ahead and um, tested these eyeshadows. I did a swatch on my hand and I just want you to see how nice and smooth and, and pigmented they are. It's really creamy and really nice. Let me do the blue one for you. See how it's just really nice. It just glides on really nice. So they had the sample out and that's what made me buy it because it was so nice. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started on a transition color, and I am going to use this one right here. It's like a really light peachy color, and I'm just going to put that right here in the crease, and remember I have a hooded eye, um, meaning the skin right here kind of hangs over the lid, so... It's kind of, I just determine my crease like right here where the eye socket is. So if you have a hooded eye, just go like this and that's where your crease would be if you, you know, had a higher one. So I'm just going to put that right here, a nice uh, light peachy beige color as a transition. Okay, and using the same brush, I'm going to take this really nice coppery uh, color here like an orange copper color and I'm just gonna layer that on top of my transition color and do a little bit on my outer V after those two shades I'm gonna go ahead and take this really pretty like a uh, rose, like a deep rose fuchsia magenta shade looking color. And I'm just gonna go ahead and layer that on top of the other two colors and work it more on the outer corner. And I'm using a really light hand on this. Um, feels really nice. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a blending brush and just blend those three colors together. 
so there's no harsh lines. Now we're going to go ahead and take this really pretty lime green color and we're going to put that right here in the center. This color is so pretty. It reminds me of pistachio ice cream, which I love. And that's kind of what drew me to this palette also is this green color that I saw on here. And I knew that my first tutorial on this palette would have to be um, using this color as the main focus. So using the same little tiny detail brush, I'm gonna take um, this pretty gold color right here and I'm going to put that in the inner corners it's a really mild um, gold color So now for the outer corners, I'm going to take this uh, really nice, like a midnight black, really shiny and kind of glittery almost. I'm going to put that right here on the outer V, really close to the lash line. And then just right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take that on the lower lash line here. Okay, so that's how it should look when it's done. And I went ahead and touched up the green pistachio color in the middle. So you could see that nice, uh, like a magenta fuchsia color peeking out from the back there with the transition color nicely mixed together and blended. And then you can see the pistachio and the black um, eyeshadow. So it's a nice pop of color. Um, okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my brow bone with this white uh, soft eyeshadow here. Now I'm going to go ahead and take Rimmel's black eyeliner and just line my waterline. Okay, so I'm not gonna do a wing eyeliner on this look today, but I will be using my favorite Maybelline Eye Studio uh, gel eyeliner in a black shade charcoal carbon. And I'm just gonna line the top of the lash line. And I'm not gonna wing it out, I'm just gonna keep it right here at the very end. That's how the eyeshadow should all look. And I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and put some falsies on. And today I'm gonna to be trying on the Drew Barrymore Flower Mascara from her makeup line and see how that goes. This one here, Flower, what a pretty name, right? Ooh, look how the brush is, guys. Looks really nice. Let me just see how it feels here. So far it seems nice. So I'm gonna be right back with my falsies on. All right, so that's how the eyes should look with the falsies on. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Uh, brush, blush. So I'm gonna use this really pretty pink one right here.
And I'm just going to blend that with the contour that's already there that I put earlier. The lips, I'm going to use this Cherry Moya number 34, and it is called um, Baby Doll number 34 by Cherry, Mo Cherry Moya. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And also I'm going to kind of put some here on the edges. And we are going to use the new lipstick, one of the new lipsticks I bought. This one's the Milani lipstick, number 45, Catwalk Pink. And look how pretty that is. Also, I'm going to finish this nice look off with NYX Liquid Illuminator. And this is just a nice um, creamy highlighter. And you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit and work it in over here at the highlight of your, um, the top of your cheekbones to highlight it. Just right here and also on the other side. And I'm using this one because it has a nice pink uh, glow. The other one I have is by e.l.f. which is a nice like a golden uh, color but this one is a nice pinkish color. Okay, everyone, so here is my finished look for today's makeup tutorial. Um, I just went ahead and straightened my hair earlier and I um, went ahead and just kind of put this side of my hair behind my ears and this side just gonna go down. So this is a nice um, look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is the eyeshadow close up with the lipstick so thank you so much again for watching this uh, my channel and I hope you liked it give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon with another tutorial thank you so much take care bye bye